Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are, whenever you are. Welcome to a new Breakout Solutions Altcoin Research live stream. That's the first time in a while that I've been able to nail that intro, so pretty proud of myself. So without further ado, we're going to continue from where we left off last week, which is exactly uh, in the $500,000 market cap uh, altcoins in order to try and find that speculative altcoin that can reach about 500 million, which is obviously a thousand X from where we want it to be. So without further ado, what we're going to do just before we get started is we're going to look at a couple of the tokens that we looked at last week. They should be in my search bar. So we have uh, Amazie was one, hasn't really done much um, in the last seven days. If anything, it's actually gone down. So not a bad buying opportunity. Um, the other one was, uh, I believe, can I go right? There we go. Acquire uh, Fi. Okay, so Acquire Fi had a pretty good pump. So last week we talked about it as, uh, you know, uh, 0 0.014 cents and currently at 0.25. So it did do it. It did do a two and a half X um, since we spoke. And it's had a bit of a pullback. Um, so, yeah, I've got a, you know some good feelings about a Qualify. Uh, but today, instead of uh, dwelling on the past, let's dive into some research and let's see if we can find the next 1,000x crypto. All right. So what I want to look at is I want to look at uh, supply. So we can see that this token, the supply is completely out. I want to see some uh, volume. And obviously, I want to see the market cap under 500K. So uh, this crypto zoom uh, seems like it's got a decent amount of liquidity. So let's jump in and let's check it out. So it's got Certic order, uh, audit, which is great. Uh, Gate.io, PancakeSwap, Max. So it's on a couple of exchanges, which is great. We're going to look at the overview. So we're going to look at the uh, total price. So it looks like it was released in 2021 um, in August. So just about when we hit the peak of the uh, bull market, right? So about seven cents. So currently now trading at a tenth of that price, which means if it does reach at least its previous all time line, that's an easy uh, 10x. So, uh, so far, everything checks out for me. So let's check out uh, the um website let's check out its twitter um and let's see what we can uh, figure out or check out so crypto zoom a complete platform of digital creature universes universe live on binance smart chain all righty so they've got a few addresses um looks like it's an nft mint um let's see if they've got some use cases the first ecosystem to combine the greatest aspects of gaming and digital collectibles okay so to participate in CryptoZoom, you must have at least one zone or items. You can own a variety of methods, including purchasing on the NFT marketplace, purchasing eggs or purchasing from other players. I like eggs. I think it's awesome when um, they can make you, uh, they can get you to hatch eggs. So you can see, obviously, what your NFT is and then looks like it's a play to earn, which is pretty cool. All right. So I'm not going to check out the gameplay because it seems like it's... Um, well, let's go to how to play. Okay, so it's all on one. It's all on one page. Cool. All right, they've got the audit. Um, I want to see. Let's quickly check the roadmap when it's coming out. Phase one, they're doing all that. Blah blah blah. It doesn't have a timeline on the uh, roadmap, which kind of sucks. Which um, I'm assuming the green means it's completed, um, and looks like they're up to phase three. So upgrade against bosses, upgrade versus feature PvP. Okay, so they've got more exchanges. So they've got a few going on. Let's check out their quitter. Twitter, 128k followers. So that's that's a pretty decent community. Um, they're are they active? So the last tweet was from last year. So that's usually not a good sign. So it means they're probably not active, not developing, and yeah, not that's not really what you uh, want to see in a project. You want to see people, even though the graphics look great. Um, you want to see them obviously keeping um, keeping up to date with their community. Let's see if they've got a Discord. 
they do have a Discord. So let's check out the Discord. Let's see how many community members. Uh, this invite may be expired. Okay. So it looks like um, it's probably not active. So that's not really going to entice me to um, get into it. So unfortunately, that's going to be a pass to start off the day. Geez, I thought we were going to uh, start off well. The website looked great. So let's move on. Alfa Romeo Racing Orland, uh, Racing Orland fan. Okay, so uh, I don't know what Orland means. It could be an abbreviation for something, but it came out in 2020, hit $5.70 um, and saw the, okay, yeah, yeah, Alfa Romeo Racing Orland fan token. So basically, if you like Formula One, you can uh, purchase the Alfa Romeo token. Don't know if there's any use cases. One token that did do well the other day that I uh, fell upon was Juventus. So I was checking out if Juventus actually had anything cool because it had a huge pump. If you look at Juventus token, it obviously has had a really good um, really good price action. So I try to find some news, but because I'm not a really big Juventus fan, I don't really know where to look at for for the um, you know news in regards to why it pumped. Maybe they got a good transfer or anything like that. But just thought I'd point that out because um, I saw that come up on my um, <clears throat> my portfolio. Sorry, I came came up on my watch list or um, something like that uh, last week. Uh, next one is uh, Asbit. So we can see there's no volume, so I'm not going to worry about that. Massnet, we actually spoke about last week. Looks like it hasn't moved from that 500K marketplace. So we'll move on to the next one. So, all right, next one is Aston Villa fan token. We won't look at fan tokens today, but it would be great to see something with a bit more volume. So as we come down the um, so we've got B Mon. Um, so let's check out Beamon and I wouldn't mind checking out this uh, Kira network next. Uh, Beamon. So um, let's have a look. All right. So it's been around since the uh, all-time high. Um, hasn't done, obviously, like every other token, done pretty poorly since. So it's trading at about a 20th of the all-time high, meaning you'd probably get at least about a 20x from current price if it was to recover. But um, let's check out the uh, the website. It looks like an NFT project. All right, Beamon, a complete metaverse of digital monsters. Um, I mean, the website looks all right, but not the best. Uh, looks like they've got some land. All right, let's check and see if they are um, if they're active. October twenty twenty two. So not uh, not good. So it looks like it's a dragon game. There's been a few of those. And, uh, yeah, I don't – okay, I can kind of see the gameplay there. Mm, look, I'm a bit of a gamer, but, uh, look, it looks pretty good. For It's always difficult to do Flying Dragon and stuff like that, I'm assuming. So, look, right now, I think it's not bad, but because they're not active, I just – it's not something that I've been looking at uh, investing in because I want to see active Twitter, um, Twitter uh, profile. All right, let's move on to Kira Network. That seems like it's had a fair bit of volume, which is pretty cool. So 337 volume, the market cap's only half a mil. Um, so let's go to all. So it did hit an all-time high of about $2 uh, during the 2021 um, you know, bull market. It did peak out a little bit earlier than most altcoins. You can see here where Bitcoin sort of capped out on the 8th of November. It had already, been, it already had its high and then it died down. So currently at uh, 3.8 cents. So if we go two dollars away by 0.38 cents, we're looking at a 52x if it goes back to at least the uh, previous all-time high. Circulating supply is only only four percent, which I'm a little bit worried about. Um, but let's have a look at the project and see uh, if we can see anything cool and why it's sort of. Uh, been getting a bit of action. Let's look at the last three months, the start of the year when everything's been pumping. So it's been steadily going down since the start of the year. The increase in volume, I'm wondering if maybe that's a bit of wash trading because with the price not fluctuating. Okay, so BitMax. So we can see the majority of the volumes there. It could be some wash trading, but who knows? Um, as we can see, the confidence is quite moderate. So um, liquidity score one. So not too sure what's this mean. Quick score, a mark appear from zero to a thousand based on the slippage incurrence by various quarter size. A high score indicates a more liquid market. So as you can see, not very liquid. Um, even though there's lots, lots of volume, it could be a bit of wash trading by the uh, the developers to try and get it, you know, activated again. 
All right, Kira. So pushing the limits of trustless computing. Let's before you see that, let's see if they're actually quite um so last post was fourth. Um fourth of Jan, and then it's just absolutely gone quiet. So not a good start. Let's check out the website. New way to connect the dots, building decentralized apps doesn't have to be difficult on the settlement of layer two application state. Doesn't have to require any complex cryptographic operations. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty quiet website. There's not a whole lot of information. So I think that's going to be a pass once again. All righty, moving on. Uh, Kira, that was the volume. Let's look at this one. So oh, that's a fan token. Uh, Bitcoin HD. All righty. Anything with the name Bitcoin can usually, um, you know, pump pretty hard because people think it's a, uh, the, you know, Bitcoin big brother or something like that. So this was, this came out in 2019. So in the midst of the bear market and didn't do too much in the uh, actual bull market. So, uh, this one will also be a pass, but look at seven cents, uh, this, this would net you a fair bit of returns. So it will go $40 divided by 0 0.07 cent or eight cents. You're looking at a 500x token here if it regains its all time high. But the this section of trading here, where uh, we were in the midst of the bull market, doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. All right. So even here at $11, you're looking at, um, you're looking at just over 100x. But yeah, it's not looking too great. So why don't we check out the website? Let's check out the community and let's see. Um, what we can find. So BTC HD community. Um, okay, their last tweet was in Jan. So another company, not very good. It's uh, uh, Bitcoin Fast BCF. Okay, um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's very active, guys. Um, so yeah, not a good start and 404 error. So we'll pass on that one, guys. Probably a bit of wash trading on that one as well. Next, Infinity Games. Okay, um, looks interesting. Anything with games? Thirty approved, which is great. Let's look at the price action. So it came out in twenty back end of twenty twenty two. Okay, so basically in the midst of the bear market, all time high of uh, six cents. Currently at point zero 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 nine four. So let's go uh, point zero five eight cents divided by zero point zero 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 three zero. Yep, nine. So we're looking at a 62x from where we are if it's uh, to reach its release. So it's definitely a potential. Uh, let's look at what it's done in the last month. Okay, a bit of a, a choppy action. Uh, let's check out the website. Let's check out the community. And we'll go from there. So first of all, are they active on Twitter? 12.2k, 3rd of Jan. Um, site is now live. Okay, so they've got a newly live site, which is great. Um, April 5th. Okay, so these guys are active. Great. Circulate supply update. Okay, good. So I like it. They're, they're active, number one. They just did an airdrop. Looks like, um, could be Chinese, Japanese. Don't know if anyone watching knows what language that is. Please let me know. Uh, let's quickly check the comments. Rowboat. Hi, how you doing? Sorry, I'm late. I have you covered on any AI coins. No worries. Let me know what your AI coins are and I can check them out a little bit later. All right. Infinity. Oh, I like this website. It looks nice. Journey where game web three, join a multi-chain gaming world, which connects people from different blockchain communities. Okay. Really cool. That's good. I like that. Node FT, multi-chain future, scalability, NFT bridge. NFT bridge is pretty good. Uh, Infinity angel game. Okay. Yeah, it looks a little dodgy, but that's okay. I'm not a game developer, so I can't really comment. Uh, Infinity Games Milestone. So it looks like we're up to here. Multi-chain NFT marketplace, platform update, build scholarship, second game release. Okay, it looks pretty good. It's definitely worth a bit of a gamble. Look, it's got a lot of, um, it's on a lot of exchanges. Where are we here? I see all markets. So it's on a fair few exchanges, which is great. Um, which is great. So confidence is high. Liquidity is not bad. Where's most liquidity at the moment? Huobi. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's look at the overview. So price action in the day has been pretty good. Um, so it's been fluctuating basically from uh, 0 0.0012 to 0 0.0082. So not too bad. Um, we said that they're active. Cool. So definitely, I don't mind this. Don't mind this at all. 
um, especially, as I said, it was released in the midst of the bear market. Okay, so October 2022, if we bring over for the uh, Bitcoin price action, so what do we say? October 2022, where was October 2022? August, September, October 2022, yeah. All right, so basically it was released here, came down and then has done, uh, hasn't done too much. So um, not... Uh, definitely worth a fifty dollar gamble, in my opinion. Not financial advice, just something that I will probably look at doing. Um, so yeah, we found finally found one. So I'm going to start this one. I'm going to put that on my watch list, and we will. Uh, looks Korean, thanks, Ray. But yeah, probably is Korean. It was one of those. I unfortunately haven't done too much study in the Asian art of calligraphy, so I don't. Um, I don't really know. Uh, what that was, but yeah, you could be right. I think they their letters are a little bit more boxed. So uh, that's good. Infinity Games, uh, that looks good. Pretty happy with that. So we're going to move on to E-Money. And this could be the last one that we look at because we've had a couple of winners. So let's look at the last three months. So start of the year. Okay, so the pr price of the token has gone from $0.08 cents down to $0.2.4. Cents. Let's go all time. So it was released in uh, 2021. So it went through the bull market quite well. Um, then November... Um, November 8th, where are we? Yeah, uh, there we are. Okay, so that's where Bitcoin uh, topped out and had a little bit of a run, and then it's obviously uh, gone since there. So, Certic Audified or Certic Audited. Um, let's check out their Twitter. So, Twitter 22k followers, March 7th, uh, Feb 8th. Mm. Okay, so they're not super active, but they have posted a few times. Maybe don't have someone in marketing, which is not a good thing, or social media. Connecting the world one transaction at a time. Unlock the potential of instant, low-cost, and cross-chain blockchain payments with our network. Yeah, well, look, it's um, there's definitely pretty, you know, similar similar projects out there. Corporate settlement, local business, internet money. Website looks pretty nice though. I do I do not mind it. That looks like they've got a wallet. E-Money wallet. Let's see. Uh, is it Kepler, is it? Oh, okay. It must be a Kepler wallet because my Kepler um, pop-up just, just came up. So, and now it keeps popping up. Um, okay. So, not too bad. They've got easy money staking. Cool. So, fast global. Look, the website's pretty good. Uh, it would just require maybe a little bit more um research on my behalf because obviously it's been around for two years um the all-time high was uh 2.69 so 2.69 divided by 0.024 we're looking at 112 x returns from current price to all-time high so look definitely worth a little uh, little gamble i think uh, on my behalf so um, yeah, that's not too bad, not too bad. All right, guys, I think we've done enough today. We found two decent uh, tokens, so I'm going to start eMoney. And as you saw before, I start Infinity Games, so two ones that I'm going to keep uh, a look at and probably throw a uh, 50 on. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. It looks like there's a few more that I can look at next week, which is great. I'll probably check out Curate and um, Safe Blast uh, when I've got some time. Alrighty, that's it for wings. Wings. Oh, look, 378 volume. I was getting pretty excited there. Amazy. Oh, look at that. Amazy is still up here. We talked about Amazy last week. A decent amount of volume. A decent amount of volume for the market cap. I think that it looked good. Um, let's see if I can see any uh, big speculative ones with a decent amount of volume. Oh, one rare and a hedge get. All right, maybe a couple more, eh? Maybe a couple more. Let's see what we can find. Oof, wow. Um, well, that says what? Oh, that's only a small percent. Let's go all time. So it came out um, in the end of the bull market and then collapsed. Um, let's check it out. Okay, these guys... Uh, they're active and okay one rare one rare the world's first food verse okay 
Wanderer is uh, on a mission to foodify the blockchain and bring the global food industry to Web3 for the first time. Claim NFTs from your favorite chefs, brand, restaurant, okay. Battle and then gaming zone. All righty. Ah, Reynold, he's Aussie. There you go. So uh, they got a few decent chefs. It would just be interesting to know what they're doing with it all. Uh, team, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play. Let's see what they've got under Let's Play. No, I don't want to connect my MetaMask. Welcome to the gaming zone. Gather, cook, battle. Okay, definitely for foodies. Definitely for foodies. So I will move on to uh, that one. But look, not bad. Look, it's, it looks okay. One ring. What was the other one I want to look at? Uh, hedge get. All righty. So $10, currently at 22 cents. Let's look at the website. Let's look at Twitter. It's been out since 2020. So I did the bull market and then uh, this was a uh, Bitcoin high. So it didn't, it didn't uh, outdo the high. Uh, easy hedge for your cryptocurrency. The future going will be built on crypto, but they are very bold and could hedge introduce decentralized options. You pay the smallest possible premium to secure your positions against unexpected price movements. Okay. I like that. Introducing hedge get. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. And on DeFi protocols, avoid liquidation. So is it a is it a trading platform? What are they doing? Product. Pays ten dollars an eighth for stable coin. All right, so I've got a bit of an example. I'll probably read this a little bit later. Let's go back to staking. Uh, launch app. I'm in the staking man, 100 hedge get max staking, okay, max staking pool, liquidity, risk free lottery, get hedge get token, get paid 20% APY and then money being the options, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, I don't want to connect my MetaMask, but look, looks uh, not too bad. Um, oh, they're not active on Twitter, no. Mm, that's a bit of a bummer. And not many followers. Um, but I don't mind the concept. It would have just been really good if they had been active on Twitter. Um, maybe let's quickly check the Discord. I don't know, Discord. Okay. Look, there's a lot of volume, so definitely something uh, it was worth looking at. Um, all right, do I have one more in me? I'll check out one more. Money swap. All right, let's check out money swap. All right, so 90% circulating supply, quite good. Uh, came out in the midst of the bull market. So we can see Jan, April, and this is, yeah, this is where Bitcoin topped out here, but it was just consistently went down, so not great. But yeah, Twitter's quiet. You know what, Twitter should just um, and March 10th, Twitter should just deactivate accounts that haven't been used in a certain amount of time so you don't have the bots and so forth. March 9th, we'll do this and produce more cool NFTs. Okay. Money swap zoo. And ERC total deposits money swap. 62 mil. What is that? 62, 63 and swaps. Um, and then, so just prompted me to either go Korean or not. Uh, money swap deposit. Mm. All right. Look, something maybe to keep an eye on, but definitely not uh, in love with it. All right, guys, that is it. I think we've uh, done enough today. Thank you so much for uh, watching the altcoin. Hopefully, um, oh, a lines block. Hopefully, we can check out the. Um, those two new old coins that uh, look quite favorably um, and we can move forward in the future. I think Alliance Block actually went under. They had a, pretty sure they had uh, something happen to their chain. Yeah, look at that. In uh, Feb, traded 14 cents and then tanked. I think they got hacked. Anyways, that's it from today. Thank you so much for watching. Catch